Hey everybody, my name is Titch, and today we are going to be playing a game called The House, which is a PS1 style horror game, which is on itch.io. So it's probably going to be short and sweet and spooky all at the same time. Uh, let's go. It's loud. Right, let's go. Oh, what? See many a BIOS screen. Tragic events of that day still intrigue not only the FBI but the whole country and it has become one of the most bizarre cases that has never been solved. There are reports of people who say they hear the deafening screams just by going near that place. Oh, Colorado 1979. Well that is definitely PS1 style graphics. I remember what we knew. Amanda, why does your family have a house here in the middle of nowhere, Scott? Uh, check Scott. <laughs> I think it belonged to my great grandfather. The oldish man bought this house at auction a long time ago. My family never managed to sell it and it was abandoned for some years. So now it's mine. Hey, <laughs> look at Brian. Of course they didn't. This house is falling apart. How old is it? Relax, bro. The furniture is almost new. I can't believe I left my aerobics class for this. Guys, nobody in my family wants this house. We can do whatever we want here. Nobody will care if we break something, have a party, or even demolish this crap. Okay, okay, you've already convinced me. Ashley and I will go in and have a look around the house. I'm excited for today. I've always had a crush on Scott. Is she saying this out loud? I'm excited for today. I've always had a crush on Scott. He just recently broke up with my friend Sarah. So I don't want to be a douchebag. I only came on this trip because Ashley didn't want to be the only girl here. I better hurry up and get my backpack out of the van. Oh, wow. Nice. Hey, Scott. <laughs> Scott's checking out like that. Check that out, Scott. There we go. There's a profile view as well. Let's go. Van. I can't open it. Maybe Scott can help me. Hey, Scott. I will check the tires before I park the van near the house. You can go ahead. Here is your backpack. You can put it in the bedroom on the second floor. Okay, thanks. Clip the backpack. Where's this house, mate? Miles away. Jesus. Oh. There it is. Why is it parked so far away, man? It's ridiculous. Yeah, let's go and check at the back first. What the hell is that? Scrap. It seems to be a piece of an excavator. I don't need a bucket. No. Look at you. Your life is fulfilled. Right, what's going on here? Ryan, this place doesn't look so bad. Ashley must be in the bedroom upstairs putting her things away. What are you looking at, Brian? What is this? I don't need to light the fireplace now. Oh, spooky pictures. Let's go 
on here? I should put my things away first. Okay. What was this? March 6, 1944. Missing Noah Campbell. Two days ago, the 17-year-old boy Noah Campbell was hunting with his father when he disappeared in the woods. Today, the police found the boy's blood and a piece of his pants in an area known to inhabit mountain lions. The boy's body was not found at the scene, indicating that the boy managed to escape the attack. I'm pretty sure that's not what it means. What's in the fridge, man? It's empty. Shit. It is very dark in there. Oh, there's another door. Oh, mate, what's going on here? It's not going to let me go in any. Locked. Fucking go right out. It takes me aback. Right, let's go. Let's go and put our stuff away. Let's just do what the game says. Let's do it. Jesus Christ, how many fucking doors does this house got? Locked. I'm trying to put my things away. Where? So. Hey, put your stuff on the other bed. I'm going downstairs to drink some water. Oh, party on, Ashley. Now I can meet everyone downstairs. Oh, she's disappeared. Let's search her bag. She's up to no good. What's going on around here? It's locked. Okie doke. Ashley. Yo, this damn tap doesn't work. Can you go outside and ask Scott to fix this crap? Oh, mate. Scott. There he is. Hey, guys. There seems to be some problem with the plumbing in the house. The taps don't work. Brian told me we're going to the next town to buy some drinks and something to eat. I will call a plumber as soon as I get there. We have to shake this place up. Did you bring a radio? This is a very old house. There must be a radio somewhere. Can you and Ashley look for it while we do the shopping? Sure. Let's do it. Where's Ashley? Where the hell is Ashley? <laughs> That's what I said. Right, it's not going to... That picture's the same. There she is. I would help you, but I don't want to wear out my fingernails messing around in this old house. You can put the radio on this table if you find it. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Fuck's sake. Lazy. Let's back outside. What? Must be upstairs. Must be. Is this open again? No. Search that? Nope. Collected a key. Old paper. Honourable discharge. This is to certify that Henry F. Smith. Nice generic name there. Medical Research Department, Army of the United States, is hereby honourably discharged from the military service of the United States of America. This certificate is awarded as a testimonial of Honestand, faithful service to his country. 13th of September 1943. Got a key. Oh, nice. There's the boombox. Here's the radio. I better take this downstairs. Flashlight. Maybe this will be useful. Hell yeah, it'll be useful. Oh, I press F. Yeah. This is cracking. 
Where's Ashley? Absolute horror. Done. It's not working. Seems that the batteries are missing. Of course they are. Ashley. Where would I put batteries? Kitchen drawer. The kitchen drawer, mate. Well, oh. stove. Does this stove still work? Try it. Oh no, we're in here now. Oh, I never signed up for this shit. God, this fucking... How the fuck did this all happen? Look at the state of this place, man. How many fridges have you got? Jesus. What's going on in here? Nice. Rebuilding brain tissue seemed crazy at first. I have worked with this all my life and now they discard me like an animal. I serve so much time. So many secrets, so many deaths. They forced me to sign a confidentiality document, so all my work, my life story, stayed in the army. That's what they do. Mate, got screwed over. Right, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a little dizzy. I must be dehydrated. What just happened there, man? Where's Ashley? She's still there. Boom. It's working now. I'll ask Ashley if she brought a water bottle. Did you bring a water bottle? No, I wouldn't have thought that this dump wouldn't have any water. I am not feeling very well. I'm a little dizzy. If I know Brian and Scott well, they won't bring anything non-alcoholic to drink. There is a well next to the house. Go there to drink water. If you get worse, we can go to the hospital. I'm sure it is nothing serious. I'm going there. Great, let's go and drink from the well. Like that makes sense. It was a well. Oh, there's a whole bit over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. There must be a bucket around the house. Ah, oh, of course there is. Fuck. Yeah, right, I'm going to skip this bit. Right, we're back with the bucket. Oh my god, this is a fucking terrible idea. Water looks alright, and there's a key. Seems that the bucket came with a key. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh yeah, fuck, what the fuck was that? Fucking hell, man, what a fucking fright. Right. Big spooky old white man. Let's go and see if Ashley's alright. Still fucking standing there like a robot. What is this key for? It must be upstairs. I've been in A2. What's this one? Been in that one. There it is up. Oh. This place is empty. I expected something more interesting. That's what you think. This room ain't empty. This 
boxes here, mate. Open the boxes. Or don't. We're back. Finally, you are here. What took you so long? We had some unforeseen problems. I had to call the plumber, who can only come tomorrow morning. We brought the drinks. Did you find the radio? Yeah, it was in one of the, uh, the rooms on the second floor. Right. What are we waiting for? Let's party. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. I'll flash. I'll do the lights. <laughs> How weird. Let's dance with Scott. This music is so cool. <laughs> Do you like my new dance moves? Absolutely shocking, Brian. It's like you're mixing a big pot of soup. What's Ashley doing? Oh, Ashley's moves are alright. What are you waiting for? Come dance with us. Maybe later. Oh, what? Dance, mate. I'm gonna have to just leave. What the f What? What? What the hell just happened there? That was like a gunshot. Outside. What's going on? Just book it out of there, man. Just jump in and go. Let's go home. Is that up the stairs? Nobody heard a thing. Why would you jump in that hole? You're out your mind. Old oh, note. The test with the last corpse was almost a success, but it seems that the body didn't last more than 30 seconds. Sheriff Campbell always hated me. He was sure that I was involved in the disappearance of that damn boy who was his nephew, which didn't help. They went through my house and found some experiments with rats in the basement, which was enough to destroy all my work. All my progress has now been absolved by the foundation of the house. It is just a matter of time for me to reach perfection. Mate, what are you even doing? Why did you jump in that hole, you mad woman? After a while, a huge emptiness and depression overwhelmed me. I was lost, but it seems that God guided him for my purpose. For a while, I was confused. He knocked on my door. His leg was bleeding profusely. I thought of bandaging it, but I felt that this visit was not a mere coincidence. I started cutting his tendons. Poor boy. He was screaming without knowing the greatness of his existence. I was so euphoric that slowly his heart stopped, but this event cleared my mind. Now I knew what had to be done. God guided him to me. I could not interfere in his destiny. Jesus. Jesus, fuck. Jesus. Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh, fuck. Fucking Scott. We'll build a fire outside. I'll wait for you there. Jesus, fuck. 
fuck, Scott. Fucking spooky motherfucker. We're not going to talk about what we just saw outside. Fucking hell, man. Fuck's sake, Scott. I found a strange room in the basement with some sinister notes. I don't know if I will have the courage to sleep in this house. No one has lived in this house for decades. If the first owner was a dangerous person, he must be in diapers or has already kicked the bucket. I'm not sure about this. No imbecile is going to come walking to this house in the middle of nowhere because of his bloodlust. This only happens in the movies, maybe in Los Angeles. <laughs> Try to relax a little bit. You must be right. Don't listen to him. Don't you think you've had too much to drink? But I haven't even finished my first beer yet. This is the tenth time you have said this, and you are always holding a different can. Whatever. Scott, my brother. Your parents are so cool to give you a house. To be honest, my parents did not give me this house. They were cheapskates. They don't even know we came here. Cool. You're the man, Scott. Damn it, Scott. Are you serious? I didn't lie when I said that this house is abandoned. My parents do not care. Just relax. The only thing we have to worry about is the eye collector maniac. While brutally murdering his victims, he liked to gouge out their eyes while they were still alive to keep as souvenir. I heard that his favourite victims were women. Besides, this house was the place where he made his last killing. I have never heard about this. You're making it up. That was a long time ago. Of course you have never heard of it. God damn it. my reminder to do Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> you told me it was not dangerous here. I was just trying to calm you down. Shut up, Scott. I need to take my allergy medication. I'm going in. Me too, I'm tired of being around these assholes. Come on, I'm just kidding. Right, let's go in, man. Assholes. Oh. Is. Drinking on an empty stomach was not a good choice. I'll eat something. I'm not hungry. What am I in here for then? Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. This one's a room again. This one. Yeah. Where's my bag gone? Did she just eat it? What? I'm inside the colon. What the fuck? Holy shit, this medicine makes me a little sleepy. What time is it? Where is Ashley? What the fuck, mate? You're inside a bum. Sounds like someone's screaming in the basement. Mate, are you, f are you for real? Why would you go in there? Who's screaming in the basement? Who is it? Oh shit! Oh my god, what the fuck is happening here? That's fucking... That's my friend. Spooky. Let's see if that boy jumps out again, I'm gonna fucking kick his ass. That's good. Mate, get the fuck out of here, run! It's locked, I need to find another way out. What? Since when? Where's the back door again? Here. Oh no. Oh fuck! What 
the fuck was that guy? Stay away from me. Ha ha ha. Fucking Scott. Fucking dick. Scott, are you the maniac eye collector? What? No. That doesn't even exist. I was just making fun of you. The only person who died in this house was my great grandfather. He died the first day he came here, but he was old and died of a heart attack. Ashley ran out to the basement. I thought you would be braver. Are you fucking kidding me? I saw her fucking body in the basement, Scott. Are you trying to scare me too? I'm serious. Shit, she might have tripped on the stairs. Her body was on the fucking ceiling, mate. What? You are trying to play a trick on me. I'm fucking serious. What's your problem? Okay, let's check it out. No, mate. No. No, no, no. No. Why? Mate, why? Mate. I'll have to go upstairs. Shit, boy. Where's the red coming from? Let's fucking follow the light. Maybe another colon room. What is? What the fuck is that, Brian? What has this thing done to you? Complete. What the hell are you? A fucking parasite? No. I'm more. I need to get out of this place now. Mate, what is... What is going on here? This is just pure fucked, mate. You need to jump out the window, mate. Oh. <whistles> Shit, was I meant to run there? Yeah, sorry. Run. Chuck yourself clear at the window, mate. Yes, that's exactly what I would have done. Oh, fuck. Come on, mate. You're alright. Get in the truck. What the shit? Oh, mate, just fucking, just, just Nash. Nash. Holy fucking Jesus. What is it? What? <laughs> what the fuck is that, mate? Run, mate. Run. It's gaining on you. It's gaining on you, man. Get in the van. Oh, shit. Whose van is that? <laughs> a house. Jesus, man. I didn't expect the house to come alive. I thought it was more gonna be like more spooky, like ghosty kind of thing or <coughs> On a Friday morning, Mark Williams, a 37-year-old plumber, was on a call to fix the plumbing in a house far from town. His service van was found several miles away from the scene, and according to the investigation, it had probably collided with a truck. Mark Williams was never found. Oh mate, what the fuck? It has been more than 20 years since the disappearances of Scott Thompson, Ashley Rivera, Brian Jones and Amanda Martinez. According to information provided by a shopkeeper and other witnesses in the nearby town, the youngsters were spending the weekend at a nearby house. In a statement, the parents of the young Scott Thompson, one of the missing, reported that they owned a house near the site, but it had been demolished years ago. The documents and the police investigation at the site confirm this. During the investigation, the police found a homemade mask and a bloody knife near the rubble in the old house. The blood on the knife was Scott Thompson's. Everything points to a serial killer, but even after years of searching, the suspect has never been found. Look at that fucking horrific mask, man. Even after years of investigation, the only concrete evidence the police could find 
was that in the, that place that existed at some point in time, the house, the house, 